Now let me discuss the combined alpha and beta blockers. Right, combined alpha and beta blockers. So, if you take this combined alpha and beta blockers, the examples what we have under this is like we have labetalol, right? We have labetalol. And the other drug what we have is Carvidilol. Right, Labetalol and as well as Carvidilol. So these are the important drugs in this group. Where are they used? Remember, particularly if you take this Labetalol. Labetalol, it is used for control of hypertensive episodes in pheochromocytoma. Right, it is used in control of hypertensive episodes in pheochromocytoma. Okay, so this is the use of the labetalol. Now you take this. Carvidilol, right? Remember, carvidilol is most commonly used beta blocker in chronic congestive heart failure. Right? In chronic congestive heart failure, carvidilol is the most commonly used beta blocker. Now, why is this particular carvidilol, which is the, why is it most commonly used in chronic congestive heart failure because in patients with chronic congestive heart failure this carvidilol it is having antioxidant property and it also has the anti mitogenic properties right antioxidant and as well as it has anti mitogenic property that is the reason why this is the most commonly used drug in patients with chronic congestive heart failure now apart from this labetalol and as well as carvidilol we have some more drugs which have both alpha and as well as beta blocking activity the other drugs which have both alpha and beta blocking activity is we have what is called as medroxolol Right, we have other drugs which is called as medroxolol and then bucindolol. Right, and then we have bucindolol. So, medroxolol and as well as bucindolol, these are also the drugs which has both alpha and as well as beta blocking property. Next, now a point what you should remember is you take this particular carvidilol. Carvidilol has maximum plasma binding protein activity. So it has maximum plasma protein binding activity. So in almost 98 percentage of individuals, right? In almost 98 percentage of individuals, they have the plasma protein binding activity whereas the drug which has minimum plasma protein binding is seliprolol so if you take this seliprolol seliprolol it has minimum plasma protein binding activity so minimum in the sense it is in 5% of individuals. So, if you take seliprolol, it has minimum plasma protein binding that is around 5%. So, the drugs which are both alpha and beta blockers are labetalol and carvidilol. 
Lebetalol it is used in the control of hypertensive episodes in patients with pheochromocytoma. And carbidolol, it is most commonly used in patients with chronic congestive heart failure because of the antioxidant and as well as the anti-mitogenic property. The other drugs which are both alpha and as well as beta blockers are one is midroxolol and the other one is bucindolol. And uh, the carbidolol, if you see, it has maximum plasma protein binding activity in almost 98% of individuals. And celebrolol is the one which has minimum plasma protein binding that is in around 5% of individuals.